Hello. In this video, I will show you how to make your own LUT for developing and converting Sony S-Log2 material into Rec. 709. I have a video shot by Sony Alpha A7 Mark II. I set S-Log2 Gamma and s gamut Color Mode in the camera settings. I can use a standard LUT that Sony offers, but I will make my own. This will give me more opportunities for color correction. I'm going to add 3D LUT Creator plugin and open a frame from the video in the program. In 3D LUT Creator, I go to Menu, File, Color Management, and enable Discard Image Profiles for displaying, since video editors do not support image profiles. Everything is ready to start. I select S-Log2 in the Input Log drop-down list. I get the right contrast. Now it is necessary to adjust highlights. I can choose a preset curve. For example, the curve from Adobe Camera Raw, which not only squeezes the highlights, but also increases the contrast in the shadows. Or I can choose one of two remaining curves that compress the highlights. The EXP plus one curve compresses one stop of highlights. The EXP plus two curve compresses two stops of highlights. Or I can use the white's recovery slider. For example, like this. Also, I can use everything together. Now, I'm going to turn on the LUT Curves Analyzer. I adjust the settings so that the analyzer always shows a neutral curve. What interests me here is that the curve should reach maximum values. Otherwise, my video will not have full dynamic range. That is, there will never be a perfect white. Therefore, I'm going to adjust the white's recovery slider when looking at this curve. For example, like this. Finally, I've got the contrast that suits me. Now, what remains is to restore the color. I need to convert my video into Rec. 709 since I shot it in S Gamut. S Gamut is wider than Rec. 709, so the image doesn't look saturated. I will use a color matrix to convert the color gamut. I go to Channels tab. Here is the color matrix. Please make sure that the gamma value should be auto, so the color matrix algorithm understands that it is working with the Rec. 709 profile and is automatically converting the profile to linear space to apply the color matrix and vice versa. In the drop down menu, I select Create Color Space Transform Matrix. In the appeared window, I can enter data for the three primary colors. Sony provides this data in its technical documentation but you can find the most popular primaries in the drop-down list. I choose S Gamut for the input and Rec. 709 for the output. I click OK and get the converted image. Now I can adjust exposure and white balance. To adjust the white balance more smoothly, I hold down the Shift key. Also, I can set white balance with an eyedropper by clicking on a neutral object. White balance looks good to me. Well, my converting LUT is ready. I click Apply and you can see how it works on the video. Here is before. Here is after. Using the same method, you can develop log material from other cameras. There are logarithmic curves for ARRI, Blackmagic, RED, Panasonic, Canon, Fuji, and so on. Also, in 3D LUT Creator, there are primaries for all commonly used cameras. Why are your own LUTs better than LUTs from camera manufacturers? Because this method allows you to adjust the white balance, exposure, contrast, and dynamic range in accordance with your material and fully take advantage of shooting in log format. As I have already shown in other videos, changing the white balance and exposure by color wheels, curves, or lumetry panel gives a less accurate result. That's all. Hope this video was helpful. Bye, everyone.